The octagon was awash with tartan at the weekend as the Queen's baton relay arrived amid St Andrew's Day celebrations. The baton was launched at Buckingham Palace by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and has visited 14 countries before arriving in New Zealand for a four-day visit. The British High Commissioner says it's a great privilege for the baton to pass through each of the Commonwealth nations. For the baton to pass through each of the Commonwealth nations towards the Games in July next year links our people together and reminds us of the Commonwealth values and the great sporting occasion that we're going to enjoy in Glasgow, Scotland next year. By the time it arrives, it will have visited 70 Commonwealth nations and travelled 190,000 kilometres. In Dunedin, children from Silver Stream, St Mary's, Mornington, St Joseph's and Arthur Street schools all took part in the relay. New Zealand Commonwealth Games team chef de mission, Rob Waddell, was also travelling the country with the baton. As the public were invited to view it, many people took the opportunity to have their photo taken. By the time it arrives in Glasgow, the wooden handle will have been touched by thousands of hands. The sights and sounds of Scotland filled the octagon at the same time as part of St Andrew's Day celebrations with pipers marching and dancing displays. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.